Let me show you how to use the VS Code to do debugging in Windows. Okay, uh, let's start from scratch here. So I'm going to make a new folder called the workspace 2. Okay, because I already have a workspace folder there. So I'm going to use this workspace 2. Uh, where we have nothing there and, and uh, get to the BS code let's go the workspace 2 and open it okay trust it so we got nothing there right now in the VS code 2 so, uh, in that case I'm going to new uh, triangle C as a new file okay I'm going just going to use the examples we have used uh, in I guess it's in lecture uh, lecture 4 um, uh, not exactly lecture 3 uh, let me get that lecture 3 example we pull it out in lecture 3 we have this example and we are printing out a triangle uh, I hope you still remember then I'm just going to copy this to here remember I leave a back here but right now I'm fixing it okay let's let me just save this file and as I mentioned several times you don't have to write your launch pass a launch JSON and task JSON you can start by this directly pick the first item and by default um, I'm using the GCC active files okay uh, Perfect. Uh, things going over well. So right now you are, you are asked to input a number. I'm gonna give it five. Okay. Um, you are set. So right now we have the program run successfully. However, what I'm going to um, demonstrate today is we can add a point here. So that's. A breakpoint, uh, which means we can, um, when the program executed to here, it will be passed here and waiting for uh, some action from us uh, to go next step. Okay, let's just run it again. Use the debugging. Uh, right now you will see that your program stop at here that means um, um, uh, it's waiting for your uh, action and to step over uh, that means we can execute this line of code okay right now you will see uh, it has been printed out here um, you will see at the bottom uh, that's the result of this printf okay then um, we let's go step over use this button right now it's indeed here scan uh, it it is waiting for your input in that case I will give it a 10 okay uh, right now you will see that um, indeed this thing has been given to this num variable uh, by move it and you could see the value of the num is equals to 10 actually you could see it from here but this value of i and j uh, kind of weird um, that the reason is uh, they haven't been initialized so the system has uh, has assigned a random number for each of them so after the initialization 
uh, like here we're initializing i uh, with the value zero so after this line of code um, being executed you will see the i equal to zero um, as shown, shown here so uh, right now we're going uh, to the while loop so let's um, right now i equals to zero and in the while loop we are comparing uh, i to the noun now right now is 10 so this condition holds uh, in that case after um, the uh, the condition passed we get into the while loop and right now is for loop um, but j right now is uh, with a random value let's initialize it and compare them to the i you could see right now j is zero and i is zero that means the condition holds we pass the test then get into this primitive uh, that's inside that for loop so let's just move forward step over you will see that here the printf has been executed and we have a star there and uh, then it's go back this this for loop right now uh, after the, we are going to update the j with one in that case um, j is now one uh, it, that condition uh, test failed so we're get to here then uh, in the while loop outside the for loop but inside the for loop inside the while loop outside the for loop okay let's move forward uh, you could see it start a new line that's a result of this line and then we go further uh, the value of i has been increased by one so i right now is one compared to now the condition still holds let's do it again and right now we are we have printed out one star here you will see and uh, let's do it again um, when it's back to here you could see um, because right now i equal to one that means the for loop will be executed twice uh, like you have found here so we have two stars here and then we have another um, a new line uh, output it so you can go inside this while loop again and again then uh, each time you are going to have a certain number of star printed out um, let's do something like adding one breaking point here uh, in that case we don't have to do it step by step rather we can use this one continue that means uh, the program will continue to execute until it meets another break, uh, break for point uh, like here so let's do it so it reaches to here you will see we have three stars uh, printed out let's do it again because uh, it's go over this for loop um, we have four stars there if you do it again 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 you will see the result because every loop uh, you have one row of star printed out okay this is it this is the way that uh, we can do the debugging in the VS code on Windows uh, so you can check out the value in between this is much easier for you to locate some of the arrows because uh, when you can uh, set the breakpoint at where um, you have you suspected uh, there is a back there and check the value if the value has been um, assigned to the right number and so in that case uh, you can um, uh, make your program uh, right